Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the STEM activity of the day. I'm Tanya, and today we are going to create our own zipline toy transporter. So, we are going to need some very simple materials for this. Now, to transport this, our toys using um, a string and people consider a zipline, we're going to be using gravity to move our transporter. Last time I used a zipline, I used a propeller. This time we are just going to allow gravity to move our item along our string here. Now if you can see the string, it's right here. It's a fishnet string. It's hooked up to that side of the wall and it comes all the way down on an angle down to this point of this dresser here or this little shelf here so very simple items that we're going to use but this is an inspiration type of activity what i want you to do is go out around your home look for items that you can create your very own transporter with this is just to inspire you you don't have to do it how i do it you can make it your own do some research learn about gravity learn the angles right and what I really want you to pay particular attention to is how to stop your zip line I'm not going to do that for this activity but there are some pretty cool ways that people in real world have to construct some device that slows down because gravity will continue until it stops until a, a impact occurs so you have to be able to slow it down or there's going to be complete destruction right so find out how you can stop your transporter and implement that into your design i'm going to show you how i create mine so let's get into it these are the materials i'm using first we're going to need something to hold our toy as it travels down our line then we're gonna need some string you can use some string you can construct it based with some craft sticks um you don't have to use string you can use um uh one of those little lock hooks you can use that but you have to have a way of con uh, connecting your bucket your crate your bin or whatever you're using to transport your toy in you need a way for it to connect to your string so your fishnet if you're using fishnet like me so i'm gonna use shoestring that i had lying around the house you're gonna need some tape i'm using a pipe cleaner to connect it to connect my bin here to my line to actually transport it down you do not have to use a pipe cleaner again these are items that i had around the house that i was able to grab and think about would this be useful in constructing my transporter and i say yes so i grabbed it so um and you can also use a tissue paper roll or a paper towel roll um as a method of sliding your trans um your toy down so that may be an option instead of using a pipe cleaner use a um a roll and so i had this one i just wanted to show you that was an option so we have all that and, and this is what i'm using as my toy you can use any type use a rock but i'm going to show you I'm going to show you using this because there's a there's something I discovered using my string and something of this size which I think is really cool and very important when transporting something especially using gravity so what I'm going to do is I have this bin here and this bin has already slots it's already slotted there's already ways of me to run my string through my bins now if you don't have a way to already within your bin you can always put a hole in your bin if it's allowed you can tape it you can glue it you can 
tie the you could probably tie the string around it and tape the string that way i was able to quickly find this so lucky me right so i'm just gonna draw my string through the band and i want to make it even as possible so i want to try to get it in the center of my band do, do, do. all right so now that i have it through i'm gonna test and see if it's balanced there we go it looks balanced to me i can move it around it seems like it returns back to the center no matter what so that shows me that it's balanced now i'm gonna see what is the where should i tie the string at now, I'm not going to use the highest point of my zip line. I'm going to consider the lowest point of my zip line. Because if I have this too long, not only is it unstable, but it's also going to kind of travel along the ground. And you can also do this outside, which is a great outdoor activity. Especially now it's getting cold, but it's fall and it's really beautiful outside try to consider create one of these outdoors and maybe you can even find a way of transporting some yard leaves from one side of the yard to the other side just a suggestion <laughs> so I'm gonna consider the lowest point that's my lowest point right there so I'm gonna tie it off here Now, with using the pipe cleaner, the reason why I chose a pipe cleaner is because it's easy to place and it's easy to remove. So I can switch out my buckets and my bins as many times as I want, especially using something that's easy to place on and remove. So maybe that's something to consider. Unlike a roll, you have to feed it through the line. And then you have to remove it if it gets damaged. So something that you can easily put on and remove. Those little lock hooks is a great one. You can just lock it on and allow it to uh, transport that way. So that's a good one also. So with this, let's do this really, really quick inspirational activity. Again, I want you to go out and make it your own. Okay, here we go. Want to try to get it to the center. Make sure it's not in the way. All right, so now why I chose this side, this size to represent my toy. I chose this size because once I put it in the bin, what you're immediately going to find out is that it's going to become unstable. See? It's going to immediately become unstable. But with the string, it has a way of kind of holding down that toy or what I'm representing as a toy. So that's something you should consider also is keeping your item stable, maybe placing some um, craft paper, some packing paper around it because um, you don't want to increase the weight of your bin you just don't want your item moving and having the potential to fall out as it's being transported so I thought that was really interesting when I was testing this out to see that the item is going to move and you need a way of securing that item in the bin as much as you need a way of securing that bin to the string then the the pipe cleaner to the rope so it all has to be secured so what we're gonna do is again I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner and I'm gonna wrap it around now you don't have to wrap it tight because it's going to travel right so create a way of a small hole but it has to be secured okay 
Okay? Okay. All right. So, let's put that in there. That looks pretty secure to me. So I'm gonna start it up here. Now gravity is definitely, and the weight of the item is definitely gonna play a part on the end result. I may actually still have some dragging with my uh, transporter. But let's just take a look here. I need more angle. So, let's see here. Let's give ourselves some more angle. Because we need for it to move at a pace where it doesn't have a chance of tipping. So I'm going to put it here instead. Alright, so I got the camera in position for you to see me test out our transporter. So, what I've done while the camera was off, <laughs> I ended up tying my shoestring a little bit higher up because once it completed its transport, it started to drag a little bit with the weight of that um, our toy. So, I retied it, made it closer to the string just so when that gravity and that weight comes into play, it's not dragging at the end. So, let's try it out. All right, here it goes. A good pace. It may not even make it all the way down. Well, you actually can't even see it anymore. It's past the camera. So, as you can see, it was a really good pace of moving. And I contribute that to the angle of my shrink. So that's something that you need to consider when you're setting up your zip line itself is the angle. Do you want it too steep? Let's just try to, I'm gonna put some weight towards the middle of it to try to make it more steeper. Uh oh, let's, let's get it balanced here. Ooh, you see, it's already taken off. All right, so the angle is a little bit steeper. There we go. There we go, it flies down. So something to consider also the weight of the item that you're transporting something to consider and also your bin itself so I hope you give this activity a try and I hope you do it outside because there's more room <laughs> outside so I hope you have fun with it thank you for joining me with the on the stem activity of the day see you later